Mayan Gordon, somewhere in the U.S., Mayan is riding around in the Hootsuite RV. You are up. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to share uh, not only your experience, but your incredible wisdom with all of us. Uh, from just listening to you talk and hearing about your experiences, it seems like you are a, another one of your gifts and strengths is to be able to really focus in and identify an emotion um, that is driving a, a powerful experience and then turn that into execution of some sort that's gonna create impact. And I'm wondering if over the, the years of doing this in various different ways, if you've noticed or intentionally or unintentionally developed a process from going from emotion to execution, like what are the steps in between that have allowed you to so consistently like knock the ball out of the park on the execution side? Uh, what a setup for pack, uh, chapter 14 in the, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so I wasn't good at it. Okay. Um, I am, I carry my emotion on my sleeve and I was reactive in that situation. My methodology that helped me and that I now teach is called center. Okay, center and then act. The C stands for claiming the emotion, okay? Containing and claiming, meaning not reacting, stop. What is this about? Investigating, what am I feeling, right? Literally opening up a, a, a page of emotions and, and thinking about what it is without, without reacting. The second, the N stands for naming it. Okay, our amygdala, where our emotions are stored and our frontal cortex operate like a seesaw. When one is aroused, the other one is depressed. So you can't think when you're emotionally aroused. Naming something forces the frontal cortex to be active. Okay, so when a, your child is crying, I understand you're frustrated. Wow, suddenly it comes down, right? It's the same thing. So that's the end. Okay, the T is taming. Taming is about step out of the drama so you can see the movie, okay? It's going behind the waterfall because, you know, I am angry, okay? Is, I'm in it. I have anger. It's standing behind the waterfall. That's taming, okay? The, the E is explaining where it's coming from, okay? With empathy. So I'm aroused by this. He, he, she, something's going on there. Let me try and understand their point of view, okay? And the R is reframing. And only when you went through that, you literally act versus react. So if it happens to anyone, I say, get out of the room. Literally, sorry, this conversation triggered me. I need a moment. Go. I need a day. <laughs> okay, whatever it takes. Let's have the discussion when you're willing to speak with me with respect or whatever it is. Make space and then react. I had a boss, a female lady who told me, talk emotions unemotionally, okay? Which I didn't really understand, but it's that. It's coming back and saying, you really triggered me, okay? Because it touches on what is important for me. Because when you act, react, you know, reacting emotionally, we know people don't listen. 7% is your message. 93% is how you deliver it. So if I'm emotional, the other, it's not, the other person is not getting anything I'm trying to say. So that's kind of it. It's stepping back so that I can talk emotions unemotionally and, and get my point uh, across, but do not suppress emotions. And that's for you guys, okay? Too many men suppress emotions and we know it comes out as disease, okay? Why do, you know, um, women uh, uh, complain more, but men, uh, uh, you know, commit suicide more? Emotions, talking about emotions is important. Don't suppress, express, okay? But find a way to do it in a way that you act, i.e. in control versus react. So I hope I answered, Mayan. Thank you. Thank you so much.